Hello, everyone. Oh, hi, Mark. Today we're back with yet another amazingly informative video to help you understand the unimaginable mysteries that plague our planet. Have you ever thought how fish sleep in the ocean? Or do they even sleep at all, with the constantly moving water and altering surroundings? You wouldn't be the first one to be curious about the incredible marine life and how unique their lifestyles are. In today's video, we'll be discussing the weird phenomenon by which sperm whales rest in the depths of the oceans. We could call it sleeping, but in all honesty, the science behind this process technically equates that it's nothing like a good night's sleep we humans are so fond of. A French photographer and filmmaker discovered this peculiar behavior in sperm whales while he was documenting them for his photo book. He had no idea what he came across initially. This unusual scene looked like it was some kind of stunning spell that had immobilized the whales. The whales were just standing in the water without making so much as a single movement. I suppose it's not correct to call it standing, after all, but it did look like that. Whales were found vertically afloat in the water while being stationary. And it wasn't just one sperm whale, but a huge group of them. Although this scene was quite striking, the real reason the whales were doing it turned out to be even more surprising. But before we move on to discuss all the science behind this, take a moment to hit the pause button and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you enjoy such incredibly informative videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications for more videos like this one. What would your guess be if you spotted a group of whales arranged vertically suspended in the waters? Some colorfully creative minds might assume that there's some kind of super intelligent creature communicating with an outer-worldly supreme alien intelligence from a neighboring galaxy. We understand that this is pretty weird, but like everything else, well, mostly everything, there's an explanation for this, too. We all know that all the living organisms on the planet require rest from time to time. Some might need it less frequently, but they do definitely require it. The fact is true for every creature, from jellyfish to elephants, from insects to humans and all the birds. Some animals even tend to spend most of their day napping, while others are like these sperm whales, who float in the middle of the water like giant fishing floats to take some time to rest. Although this resting episode is quite short in the whale situation, it lasts for only 15 minutes. These episodes are frequent, which means the whales take many short-lived rest intervals during the day. They actually spend around 7% of their day resting, which is a record among mammals. To be honest, 15 minutes is just too short a time to fall asleep in. As humans, we can definitely agree to that. Also, we need to take into account that the whales keep their eyes open during this interval and continue to see everything happening around them, so it's even harder to actually sleep. You guys must remember Gandalf from the Lord of the Rings series. He also slept with his eyes open, but at least he slept, because if Gandalf was a whale, Pippin would not have been able to steal the Palantir from under his nose. Some scientists are of the view that during this rest period, the whales remain awake by using half of their brain so it's not appropriate to call it normal sleep. But there's no other way for these whales to rest when they know they can be attacked at any moment. Resting is a survival instinct for these whales, but resting alert is also for their own safety. Besides the fear of enemy assaults and brains hardwired to stay half awake even during the rest period, there's another reason why whales cannot truly fall asleep, and that's because they control their own breathing. This is a very inconvenient feature of their physiology. We know that humans don't need to do any active effort in order to breathe. The body has a mechanism that maintains adequate ventilation on its own. But because the whales live underwater, they have to constantly monitor whether or not they can breathe. Keep this in mind, because it'll come up later in the video. This feature, however, isn't all bad. It also provides the whales control over distribution of oxygen to the right organs. For example, if the animal isn't using anything other than its brain and fins at one time, the whale's body will direct all the oxygen to these two organs. This is a pretty smart mechanism. After all, why supply oxygen to organs that are not doing any work at that moment? One should be saving their oxygen like the energy, especially if they live underwater. Is there any other way to avoid the threats, you may wonder? Diving deeper into the water might seem like a good way to start, Turns out, each different species has the ability to dive to a different depth in the water without risking harm to their bodies. So it might be that the whales, while resting, are trying to dive to the very bottom of the ocean so they're not noticed and respectively attacked by some great white shark. It does sound like a logical explanation. What do you think? Actually, the whales don't tend to dive too deep in the sea. This is because they periodically need to emerge to the surface to breathe again. 
Now, you may get why their bodies are this smartly organized to conserve as much oxygen as they possibly can. Also, the great white sharks tend to hunt in the deeper parts of the ocean, so the chance of resting whales being attacked by the sharks are slim as they remain closer to the surface. Orcas are a completely different story from sharks. The depth at which whales rest is quite a favorable living environment for orcas who swim and snack on other fish at this depth. Perhaps this is why they're resting. Whales gather in large groups to protect themselves and each other from the orcas' attacks. But in all honesty, we doubt that it helps much. If you're well aware of how menacing a creature the orca is, you'd know that nothing can really stop it once it puts its mind to hunting you down. The only thing that can actually save the whales from an orca attack is the reaction speed. Because they're not really asleep, they tend to quickly wake up and swim as far away from the predator as possible. If the whales had emotions like humans, they'd be pretty embarrassed by this. After all, being this huge an animal, they're expected to be the strongest and most daunting. But they have to flee in order to avoid being eaten by another fish. The whales may not be the bravest. They are smart enough, though, to find the right balance to survive. They can't get much closer to the surface because of the sun and the seagulls, not to mind any other predators, including humans, out there. Going deeper is also out of the question because the water pressure is going to be too strong for them to sustain it. While we don't think the pressure bothers these whales much, after all, they're much stronger than humans, there's no need to test the limits, though, when they simply could avoid it. Another thing to consider is the low temperatures in the depths of the ocean. It's just too cold, and like us, even the whales don't want to sleep in the freezing cold. After all, whales are not amphibians or reptiles, they're mammals who need to maintain the body temperature within strict limits at all times. We mustn't forget that they constantly need to breathe too, which means they have to surface after short intervals in order to inhale the much necessary oxygen. If you've seen them breathe, you'd know that these fountains that emerge on the surface are because of that. To take a breath, the whale has to suck the water in its blowhole and swish it every few minutes. The interval varies among various species, therefore it's unlikely for the whales to dive so deep from where it may not be able to make it to the surface in time to take a breath. Turns out the whale takes a breath, dives into the water, and gradually resurfaces. Scientists believe that the organs in the whale's body are arranged in a way that the head end is much lighter, comparatively speaking. This helps them when they freeze vertically so they can rush to the surface for breathing. Catching whales while they rest is a long shot. These are timid yet extremely sensitive creatures that swim away at the slightest indication of danger. This is why when the group of researchers discovered this group of resting whales in 2008, they tried their best to swim away as quietly as possible without causing any disturbance. But this turned out to be futile because they woke up one of the resting whales, causing the whole group to disperse within mere seconds. You may ask why the whales didn't immediately swim away when the ship approached them if they see everything all the time. This is probably because the ship isn't an orca, the scariest creature in the whale's opinion. Or maybe they're just too used to the ships being permanent residents of the oceans, then they see a lot of traffic. Now that we've learned all about the whales, it's only fair to consider what the rest of the creatures in the sea do at night. One thing's for sure, they don't stay awake till the morning binge-watching TV shows. The rest of the marine creatures, especially the ones that are not mammals, also have a routine and require adequate amounts of rest to function properly. For example, let's talk about the fish. Do they also close their eyes and fall asleep? No, not really. Because there's no dust underwater, fish don't have the luxury we call eyelids that close our land-dwelling eyes. Besides the structural difference, the fish brain also functions distinctly. When people sleep, their brain activity decreases, especially in the neocortex, which processes the higher cognitive abilities. But in the fish brain, there isn't a neocortex, which means their sleep pattern is entirely different. For these creatures, it's not even like dreaming. Their sleeping state resembles suspended animation. The duration of this resting interval varies with the species, the surrounding conditions and other factors like time. For instance, during migration seasons, fish don't even sleep for a few seconds, or maybe they just sleep while being on the move. Scientists still have no definitive theory to explain how fish actually sleep, or do they even sleep? Determining this is a difficult task because of the infinite amount of species, too many different conditions, and constantly changing natural factors. Even the suspended animation examples that have been discovered hardly have anything in common. For example, sand lances burrow in the sand when they need to rest or hide from predators, while some coral fish tend to get between the reef branches when they want to rest and avoid being swept away by the currents. The parrotfish surprisingly secretes a cocoon of mucus around itself that in turn protects it. 
Until scientists manage to research deep enough to solve this mystery, we can't really pin down a single theory or devise any conclusions. But currently, it seems like fish don't really sleep, and if they do, it's for a very short time. It's kind of understandable, though. You can't rest when you're constantly exposed to the risk of being eaten. Can you imagine resting for short intervals? Seems like a horrible way to live, right? The average human adult needs 7 to 10 hours of sleep, and if you don't fulfill this need, results will show up in your awake time. You start losing focus, you're tired throughout the day and have mood swings. Lack of sleep also dumbs down our reflexes, and we fail to quickly react to what's happening around us. Long-term sleep deprivation can lead to a lot of grave consequences, like the increased risk of obesity, diabetes, stroke, hypertension, heart disease, poor mental health, and an early death of some established ones. Why did all genius minds sleep so little, you may ask? Einstein only slept three hours a day and was pretty smart. The fact is, the great physicist loved to sleep for at least 10 hours, but Nikola Tesla was a whole other story. He detested sleep, as in his opinion, it was sheer wastage of precious time. He used to rest intermittently and claimed to sleep no more than two hours per day. And although he was also a genius, he had a string of nervous breakdowns. This makes us question his place as a role model. The whales we've discussed are no less geniuses than Einstein and Tesla. They can actually drown in the water if their calculations aren't on point, and this has actually happened. Whales are capable of calculating their timing, speed, and the depth of their dive quite precisely. But once in a while, when they're close to the coast, they end up in a tough situation. Here, the water is too shallow to dive, but deep enough for the water to get into the blowhole, rendering the animal unable to breathe, and so it drowns. This is because whales are mammals who have lungs, unlike fish who have no problem breathing underwater, as long as the oxygen content is adequate. That was all about the sleeping patterns on underwater organisms. We hope you enjoyed learning how unique the resting habits of marine creatures are. Do give us feedback in the comments. We surely found the behavior of sperm whales fascinating. What did you guys think? For more such videos, visit our channel. See you all next time.